You take a knee, then you still. Right here at the end, tough call. I mean, a tough call. He, he, it's the right call, but you can see that he gave himself up. Brandon Graham, the game's on the line. He's trying to make a play. Oh, God, again. Like he's trying to hold up at the end of this and not hurt him. Right. But the head and neck is protected. He does give himself up. It is a foul by rule. We just got in late, that's all. So one timeout left for Philadelphia. Uh, First down for Washington oh, and Robinson. And Robinson on first down picks up four. Oh. Just a really, really tough, tough deal for Philadelphia because Brandon Graham, you can see as he's coming in, he is trying to pull up as well. He's sliding in. He's sliding in on his knees. The dude is down, but he make, he's making he's making an advanced step. He don't have to make the park. Watch when watch when they show the last one. Cause the dude is down. Where you at? You got you got you, you took four steps, three to four steps to get there to do that. That makes no sense. He's down. I mean, I know you. I mean, I'm like I'm like real is real. You know what I'm saying? Cause the dude is down, and you still taking two to three steps to get over to him. And still go down, and you going down. You just can't do that, man. It's just, that's just stupid. That's like Leon let let it go. <laughs> Ain't like they were going. Well, who knows what would happen? Third downs as a result of them running the ball so much, and then getting to these manageable third downs, and they converted twelve of them. And, and that because the, the, the what do you mean you got 16 points? What you talking about? I know it's fucked up, Andy. <laughs> he does it fucked up. We'll the game, and then you do the good for four games and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, our right, starting quarterback back. See you later, guys. Here's the clipboard. Here's the pen. And, you know, there's going to be time left on this clock. I mean, you see 11 seconds now left. And so the, the man right, just decided man, to take a knee rather than continue to play the ball. I guess I'll play me a game real quick. Right, later, bitch. They had, as you mentioned a couple times, that crushing defeat at home against the Vikings. About 13 unanswered points. The former quarterback, Kirk Cousins, now they come off the road in a game. Double digit underdog. Nobody gave them any chance. And here they are with 11 seconds to go. The Eagles out of timeouts, trailing by five. And a punt upcoming from Tress Webb. This is, this is a different football team. Forget tonight. I mean, we know what we've watched tonight. But this has been a different team with Ty Taylor Heineke at quarterback than it had been with Carson Wentz. And a fair catch by Cubby at the 10 with five seconds left. Don't forget that ineligible man downfield on that punt that allowed a re-punt that took the clock under two minutes at the end of the play, which took a stop away when Washington got the ball back. And all of this in the three turnovers has added up to what is likely loss number one. What's been an incredible start to the year for the Philadelphia Eagles? It's said every year when the last unbeaten falls of the 72 Dolphins celebrate their perfect season should be the last play. Hurts underneath and now the laterals. And instead, it's going to be oh, shit. for a touchdown. Come on, defense happy. And the commanders have won this game. And Taylor Heineke can celebrate a big rough win here in the 
Damn, somebody defense just got point and just won their game with some quality. Washington, 49 carries, 152 yards, two touchdowns. And hey, I did not get that touchdown. Morgan, Adelisa, Salter. Denver, you got that personal foul call. You essentially knew the game was over, got up and started celebrating. What were you feeling? What were you feeling in that moment? Hey, man, that wasn't my intent, but, you know, I wanted to stay in balance, keep 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 on rolling, and I think I made a little bit of a mistake there. So, yeah, I was pumped up to kind of put it in the back there for us, and this is really proud of our guys. Good, really hard-fought game. Coming into this game, Undefeated. What did your team show? We knew that you know, we were going to put a fight. Um, you know, we've been on a roll lately. You know, I thought we were going to let one go last week against Minnesota, mm-hmm. but you know, we had a lot of confidence in the room right now. Mm-hmm. That's playing hard. And, uh, we're, we're trying to you know, find our identity. And so, mm-hmm. you know, I'm very proud of the guys again. Come up here with a, a busy game, undefeated, and a hostile party on Monday night. It was, it was a good win for us. The game plan was to keep their offense off of the field, and you're able to do that with, with long, sustained drives. How are you able to do? What other offenses have not been able to do against the defense? We did a great job the whole game, pretty much, of not having penalties. We run behind the sticks. You know, we're in the ball well. We kind of chopped it a bit. Um, you know, the offensive line protects really well. So there's a lot of down. So if we can keep doing that, I think our offense is going to be really good. And again, defense play great. So I'm going to keep rolling. Another chapter to your magical story. What was your mindset coming in knowing that this might be your last start? Yeah, this is kind of the same mindset of every game. I just I feel like it's my, you know, it might be my last game every time I come out here. So I'll just leave it out in the field. And, Again, yeah, that's a special one. Now three and one is coming in, uh, coming in for Carson Wentz. Do you think that you have earned the starting spot? I don't know. It's, it's their decision. It's out of my hands. Uh, you know, I, I'm one of those guys where if my numbers called, I'm ready to go. So uh, whatever decision they make, you know, if it, it's, it's backing up Carson, let's go. You know, I'm, I'm excited for him and, and see what he can do. Thank you, Taylor. Congrats on the win. Okay. Guys. Well, there you go. Carson Wentz. He has made 19 starts for the Commanders. Taylor Heineke. Bankruptcy, going from being worth $30 billion to being $8 billion in the hole. And do you know how hard it is to lose that much money overnight without buying Twitter? This wasn't easy. I will say, I'm glad that he apologized, but a tweet saying, I f***ed up, doesn't capture the enormity of what you've done. You know, I f- up is the wrong address. I f- up is like the wrong Uber or something. At the very, at the very least, you've got to add like ten more U's because you. F- and this, this crypto collapse is sending shockwaves everywhere, everywhere, from people losing billions of dollars to the Miami Heat being forced to change the name of their arena. Right now that FTX is broke, you saw that. And, and I'll be honest with you, I think. My beautiful, wonderful families. Hmm, they think I'm old Charlie the stagehand, but I'm really Mickey, their old father. <laughs> oh, I love them. I've been watching over them ever since. Oh, Here they come now. <laughs> Your performance was 
you do that now? Oh, well, this is old Charlie, Ziggy. He's one of your stage hands. You know, he's been hanging around Sonny and Sissy and me ever since Father left years ago. We feel like he's almost one of the family. <laughs> Go over there, old Charlie. <laughs> Never mind about you, Sonny. I can't wait to tell you about my plan for the next book, don't Charlie. I tell you, the three funds are going to be bigger stars than they ever were. Oh, Ziggy, that's marvelous. Stop it, Ziggy. Mom? Yes, yes. This? I've got something I've got to tell you. Well, wait, but I mean, I'm trying to tell you more about the new show. Can I wait? This concerns the new show. Yes, honey. I'm quitting the business. I'm quitting the act. Huh? I'm sorry, Uncle Ziggy, but I've got to get out of show business. I've been in it long enough, and I'm ready to take the next step. Prepare the next step, Tony. Politics, Mom. <laughs> I want to be President of the United States. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Online, seven hours early. Head to Walmart, Black Friday, deal today. I guess from now on it'll just be Sissy and me. Well, Mom, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, and now's as good a time as any. Not that, Uncle Ziggy. <laughs> You know I've always had a deep interest in medicine. Yes, I know you've had a deep interest in medicine, but, but show business is in your blood. Well, I want to get out of it, Mom. <sighs> All right, if that's what you really want, then do it. Anyway, I won't stand in your way. And if your father were here, I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't stand in your way either. Thanks, <laughs> okay, Mom. You're an angel. All right, please. Come on, Sonny. Let's go out and No one. Not true, Benny. You have me. And him. I guess you've always known, Fanny, that I've been in love with you for a long time, yes? I know that, Ziggy, but I'm a one-man woman. And I'm one woman whose man is a one-woman man. And when a one-man woman has won a one-woman man, the one man that one woman won. <laughs> <laughs> Over 500, 
in 19 starts with the commander. So uh, I, I think he is as advertised. He's a guy that will roll the dice. You know, uh, he's a guy that will take chances. And on nights when those chances work, it looks really, really good. But they, they ran the ball 49 times. They weren't dashing the Eagles' defense, but they stayed with it. third down, they that down, and they took the ball away. It's a lot of what Philadelphia had done to get the 8-0. No. And, and so they kind of flipped it. And, uh, you know, Ron Rivera walked in here and had his team ready to go.
Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles. timeout here is taken and it's taken by the kicking team they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter here's the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. 
So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Jackson now. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. They'll go option on second down. Right side. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 30. Now Jackson. Complete to Likely on the out route. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This is caught. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. From the two now, second and goal. Edwards will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And did the offense get it back? They did at the one-yard line. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. And by rule, that comes out to the 40-yard line, so a good opportunity for this offense with solid field position. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 40. They'll drop to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. 
Nice connection there for a really nice game. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. But one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watkins. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And one more time, that's Watkins. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles! Chris Watkins, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got a lot to handle in this one. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking in at the three. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. 30. 10. And he is finally stopped. Boy, he almost made it, but not quite. Down around the five-yard line. What a return. All praises for a tremendous return, but how about the guys that never gave up on the play, refused to let him get into the end zone, and tracked him down before he got there and made the tackle? Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. After one, it's 13 to six. That's the end of the first quarter with the score Eagles 13, Ravens 6. Ready? The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Yes, 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 yes. 
Hurt sets up to throw it. And this one complete to Smith. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They'll go again with Sanders. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Hertz gets this to Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing his hurts. Looking for Watkins and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take over here up near the 40. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching the fit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Jackson. Throwing out left and finding Likely. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And he'll head out of bounds inside the ten. Mark him down at the nine. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. It's a nice completion and a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? 
A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. To throw is Jackson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They'll look to run with Edwards. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Here's Jackson. A swing pass here to Edwards. So nothing doing there. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Try and throw for it with Jackson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Kaiser White. And the Eagles will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Well, Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know we're still in the first half. A bold call nonetheless. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it. Didn't work out. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. This is Smith with the ground. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And that one makes this a 10-point game at 16-6. to six. But They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. set at the line for this next drive. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. First 
first half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. From the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their yeah. offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. But first down, Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 34 yards. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Jackson on first down. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. 
He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him by passing downs. Now Jackson on first down. He'll set up the screen to Drake. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Edwards. And he gets them a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second down and goal. Jackson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Kenyon Drake taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. Come on, come on. Hey. Look at my team. On first and ten, it's Sanders. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Four yards remain for second down. sidelines about right now and if you don't convert here guess what he's gonna make the trek to the opposite side and all of a sudden you've got a battle on your hands 
Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw here. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. It wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. They go play action with Hertz. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Sets up to throw it. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. All right, Charles, as a former defensive back, how disheartening to actually catch it but just not be able to stay in bounds there defensively. Well, extremely because you know the rap against us defenders is that we are frustrated offensive guys who can't catch him. And he caught it, just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. It's that second part that finished off the play for him. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. But the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. No run back here for DuVernay. Touchback out to the 25. set at the line for this next drive. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. Yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Jackson. He's going to wind up and air it out. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Josh Job. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. If they had designs of kind of...